Royal Australian Navy shortlisted candidates for Tier 2 general purpose frigate designs. The Royal Australian Navy's, RAND's, capability head has robustly defended the shrink wrap procurement strategy to accelerate the acquisition of 11 new Tier 2 general purpose frigates. Three warships will be built offshore, and eight will be built in Australia. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. Speaking at the Defence Leaders Combined Naval Event, CNE, 2024 in Farnborough, UK, on 23 May, Rear Admiral Stephen Hughes, Head of Navy Capability, said that acquiring a zero-design change solution was the only way to have an acquisition program underway and on contract before the end of 2026, with a first ship delivery to follow in 2029. These new ships will operate independently and with the Hobart-class air warfare destroyers and hunter-class frigates to secure maritime trade routes, northern approaches, and escort military assets. The urgency of introducing the Tier 2 capability is paramount, reflecting the fragile material state of the RAND's aging Anzac-class frigates. This strategic move has seen platforms customized overseas for RAND standards and requirements, including integrating Australian-specific weapons, sensors, and combat systems. Shortlisted warships. Four platforms have been identified as exemplars to form the basis of the Tier 2 selection process, the Meko A200, Tizenkrupp Marine Systems, Mogami 30 FFM, Mitsubishi, the Daegu Class FFX Batch 2 and Chungnam Class FFX Batch 3, Hyundai Heavy Industries and Hanwha Ocean, and the Alpha 3000, Navantia. Tier 2 warship is 122 meters in length, 14 meters in width, 35 meters in height and displaces 4,000 tons when fully loaded. It can cruise up to 30 knots per hour and carries one helicopter on board for ASW operations. Notable improvements from its predecessor, the Anzac-class frigate, include improved hull-mounted and towed-array sonar. Its combined diesel-electric or gas propulsion system makes the ship quieter despite the increased displacement of roughly 4,000 tons. A hybrid propulsion system, which allows the ship to use a gas turbine and electric propulsion motor simultaneously, dramatically reduces the ship's underwater radiated noise footprint. Another improvement is its firepower. General-purpose frigates have a 32-cell vertical launching system that can deploy standard missile to surface-to-air missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes, and naval strike anti-ship missiles. The gun system consists of a 127mm MK45 naval gun system and a phalanx block 1B close-in weapon system for ship self-defense. Thanks for visiting this YouTube channel. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok.